Hey, how y'all doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring challenge guy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call this. But yeah, uh, this is going to be the Great Jar challenge, and this is not a challenge I made up, it's in the game. So basically, what you got to do is you got to take down these three black phantoms. And this is got to be back to back. You cannot go back to like a grace and a rest afterwards. Because then, if you kill one, and then you go back to grace to rest, or whatever, you come back, um, I think like the, si the sign gets replenished, or either way, you have to fight them without resting or leaving, or anything like that, so, yeah, um, this is, like, you can fight them like this, you know, if you want, it's, it's pretty challenging. Because you only have as much Estus as you can, that like you start with. So depending on how much you explore, you may or may not have more or less Estus than I do. Or not Estus, my bad, flasks. So if you have low flasks, uh, I don't... I mean, unless you can kill them quickly, I don't recommend you fight them, like, fairly. So this is just a footage of me fighting one that's fairly, so you see they, they also have like decent health. My weapon I believe is at plus 5 at this point, so, and I think I might be level 40. Around 40 something. I know I haven't touched level 50 at this point. So I'm doing, I feel like doing kind of shit damage, I'm really counting on bleed here to make this work. And all three of them have a different gimmick, so this one's like all... Uh, if she has her, her shield out, be careful for parry. Like, that's that's her gimmick, I think. And also, I guess, this poison. Um, there's a guy that uses a, a hammer that, that hits pretty freaking hard. And I think it, the guy uses faith. Anyways, so this is quote-unquote the legit way. And let me show you guys the cheap way. So once you get the summon out, this is what you can do. And I probably, this is probably like the easiest trick, I guess, to deal with this. This mage user is probably the, the toughest one in my opinion because it can use like the soul arrow kind of thing. So here I'm just kind of keeping distance. And I'm going to try to bait her whoa, 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 to fall off the edge. So you get a few hits in, and I just hope you don't cast. Don't cast, motherfucker. Woo! Okay, so once you get her on that side, on the right side. <laughs> just top off a little bit. You want to get on the branch. Like this. Just come on the br with a branch. This one might be a little bit tricky because she has the casting. So you kind of want to bait her to use her rapier to attack you at this cliff area. So once she does, boom, she falls off and we got the kill. I like how the freaking arrow still tagged me. So there's one. <laughs> now onward to the heavy hitter. Oh, by the way, none of them can heal. As far as I know, I haven't seen any of them heal. Because uh, I... I made that round table uh, invader guy and people are saying the invader healed more than once which I, as I still haven't seen it. I made like two more new characters to test out it only healed once and there you go this guy is really aggressive so he'll most likely just fall and kill himself uh, just make sure you don't get hit or you have a shield that can block it or you have the stamina because otherwise it can kill you really fast. One or two hit, it'll kill you. And I died. And here I was thinking, okay, well, shit, I died. So I'm pretty sure like it's gonna get reset. I'm gonna have to fight all three of them again. So here's the path running back in case you guys wanna see, because I thought I might just throw this in here. And if you guys wanna see the map, it'll be at the end of the video. So don't worry about that. I will include the map. Um, if you guys want to do this challenge, uh, it gives a pretty nice talisman. It's it raises your max equipment load by a lot. 
So I think there's one that's that just raises it uh, normally, and then this is like the better version, I guess. So you guys will see. So you can just run, pretty much make a straight uh, straight run back. Uh, it does not open the door behind the giant pot, by the way, in case you guys are wondering if it does open or not. It, it doesn't. <laughs> That's the whole reason why I did this challenge, by the way. I thought it opens the door behind him, but it does not. So after you complete the challenge, he'll then speak to you, or quote-unquote speak, because it's just dots, and then he gives you this talisman. So, yeah, uh, still not talking to me. And yeah, uh, here's the map location, and that's going to wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope to catch you all next time. Homes out.